Hey Internet, this is Gunter with Mini Mishaps, and today we are going to be hot gluing a bunch of dollar store toys into a new creature. It is Friday Plastics, and so this week we have got some Halloween decorations that are skeletal dinosaurs, which are fun. Um, and we're going to be blending them together into uh, one singular large monstrosity creature here. So I'll show you pictures again at the end. But the, um, this was, this was fun. This is always, you know, you revisit being a kid and, um, <laughs> not that as a kid I would get to, you know, take apart toys as much as I do now, um, but uh, but we're we're making sure that my my five year old gets plenty of exposure to kit bashing. So these dinosaurs were um, very cheap. I mean, you know, the whole tube of them for a dollar. Um, they don't stand up on their own. The, the plastic is is kind of a rubberized, soft, bendy, the kind that would probably warp and melt if it was uh, left in the in the passenger seat of your car during the daytime um, so given that they won't stand on their own the whole thing about today's project was sort of we just sort of kept adding legs until it would stand and even then we got to six legs and decided it needed um, it needed the base to be able to stand so I also as you can see here was not able to keep my hot glue gun plugged in. I kept getting it too far away from the wall and yanking it free on an especially problematic arm or head. Um, so <laughs> so the, the earthquakes you keep seeing, I keep scooting the table closer to the wall and kind of squishing myself between the table and the outlet because the, the cord on the hot glue gun isn't real long. But um, so our dinosaur is going to be a three-headed Dracosaurus. Dracosaurus. Put in the comments how you think we should write that. It's like a dragon-sized, mostly parts of dinosaurs, but could be dragons. Um, and I know there is a a six-legged lizard centaur kind of a creature, um, but this is going to be obviously much larger. Uh, and this is going to be one where they find the creature, it looks like three dragon heads buried up to the nostrils in the sand. And then um, if, they, if they bother it, then it um, shows that it's some sort of huge bone golem or construct of some kind. But it's in 28 millimeter size it's probably uh, 20 feet tall and 50 feet long I guess um, so dragon sized so there it is we decided we needed the two bases and uh, I just did little spots for the feet but I don't know if you can see it in the video it started smoking which I think was maybe the hot glue gun up against the acrylic paint that's on these bases. But either way, it was going to be a last <laughs> functioning part of the crafting for today once your hot glue gun starts smoking um, and the bases start smoking. That's, that's time to, to change tactics. But here it is on the spinner. This was so much fun. I love the way it turned out. My D&D players are going to love it on the map. But uh, there it is, the three-headed uh, Dracosaurus. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on this series. Next week on the Friday Classics, we are going to be trying to sculpt a D&D &D scale, 28 millimeter version of Oscar the Grouch, I think, for National Grouch Day. So that's what's coming soon. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Internet.